Uh, Morgan, Chick, Ellen, I'm here. And we can let the good times roll. Well, well, well. So glad you could come. Thank the you. The guest of honor has finally arrived. Yes. Do you know that the party is only supposed to last for three hours? Only three hours. Oh, yeah, well, okay. I know I'm late. I'm sorry, but uh, instead of a lot of hellos, I'll just throw a couple of quick high sweeties around. Would that be all right? Oh. Well, that would make it fast. Well, I see you finally made oh, yeah, it, Stanley. Now, it. these yeah, newspaper men are very important to your career. Very important. I want you to play it cool. I'll play it cool. I want you to show them how happy and thrilled you are to meet them. And I want you to be extra specially sweet, humble, and nice. You got it? Yeah, I'll be just as sweet and humble. Well, uh, not... Too sweet, Stanley. No, I wasn't. These people are used to the soft sell and the phony approach to getting names in the papers. So if I may suggest, just be yourself. Honest and sincere. Honest and sincere. He answers everything, everyone. Ellen's right, Harry. If this kid gets the cutes, we're dead. Well, I won't get the cutes. Will you all stop worrying? I, Come I on, Stanley. I won't get Stanley. the cutes. I'll just be my... Oh, hiya, fellas. Hi, Vern, hi, Dick, hi. Joe. Hi. Stanley, this is Vern Scott. I'm very... Uh, Richard Gaiman, this is the Stanley I'm Bell. I'm very... Joe Finnegan, Stanley. Hi, Stanley, these you. gentlemen write for all the newspapers and magazines all over the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet, humble, nice. Yeah, I remember. Oh, you're the Mr. Scott that writes in a... It's a wonderful, sweet paper, the way you make your column. Is it? Too sweet. Too sweet. Uh, um, you're Richard Gaiman, that very famous, and my heart is humble, the way you write lovely humble. Not that humble. Not that. And uh, Mr. Finnegan, I'd love to have golf. Maybe one saccharine day we could have lunch, you and I, sweetie. What do you say? Is Too nice. Good? Too nice. Stanley. These are sharp people. They know you're putting them on. Oh, no. Yeah, relax. There's Hedda. She must have just come in. I gotta tell you about this kid. No, Harry, I'll tell you. He's the first real funny thing I've seen around here in ages. And he's right. This thing is a horror. Well, if you say so, Hedda, this is a pretty funny hat. You know, this kid had us believing he was serious. I told you he was funny. Now, wait a minute, Harry. And this goes for you, too, Ferguson. You've come across somebody who hasn't yet learned to be phony. He thought something, and he said it which was real and honest. And now, if you apply that to his performance, you've got a great success. Come on, fellas, lend a hand. I can't make it on my own with this stupid umbrella hat. 